hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you have not uh, watched the, my last video regarding this uh, uh, call management and uh, voice integration section you can take the last video link from the description box to check it out the same and if you want to see the entire team uh, series you can take the link from the description box as well so today i'm going to just continue from the my last video and where we left over we are going to discuss about the call queue, some call path configurations and the voice routing in Microsoft Teams. So first, first we have we have to do, we can create a call queue just like we have an um, response group kind of services in Skype for Business. Same way, Microsoft team offer the call queue configuration and the services where you can define a set of agents like a set of a group of people. They can answer the call and you can define the call and accordingly you can define the routing method and selection of agents so agents uh, that is the person those are added or associated uh, or their accounts are added or associated could be considered as a resource group accounts so to configure this uh, call queue you have to uh, go to let me just show you in the voice section of this and in this voice section you will see the call queue from here you can associate a create a queue then add the your resource accounts like the accounts those can be responded on the same calling id the number on which the you uh, people can make a call language settings configuration if you want to play a greeting message you can upload mp3 files same way the when the users are on hold what message or music would be played over here so these are the things and uh, choose a team to answer these calls you can define it from here add a channel if you want same way you can see there's a routing method so these are the four methods like first one the first call in queue ring of the call agent and the same time first call will be pick up that agent get call like attendant routing here and then uh, we have a serial routing when the serial routing is used the incoming calls will ring agent one by one like uh, round robin it's also almost a one by one but uh, it's fluctuating it's uh, for a certain time duration uh, just like a round robin methodology or you can say algorithm and the longest idle where the agent who is sitting on the longest time from the idle state so mostly people using longest idle or round robin strategy Longest idle is the best approach uh, sometime, but not always. Might be the user is not on the desk or something also. So these things would be need to consider at the time of when you are configuring this kind of setting. Same as for the call timeout handling as well. Maximum time wait kit. How much? It's 20 minutes, 10 minutes and what it should do after that. Disconnect the call or redirect the call to any specific person. So these things you can configure in the call queue and accordingly uh, further the call can be answered or routed by the agents you can also define the uh, business hours for the auto attendant configuration the same thing let me just quickly go back on the auto attendant here that is responsible to answer your uh, operator calls so that can be defined in some of the organization if you have seen that the auto attendance is configured and once I move to little bit okay anything Okay, you can see the call flow, uh, greeting if you want to play, route the call, disconnect the call or redirect call to a specific person like voice app or external phone number or anywhere. You can also define the business hours in the call flow for auto attendant like any call or number which is associated over here. It's the same functionality and the features that we use in Skype for Business and Link as well. And in case of on-premises infrastructure, earlier in the Skype for Business online, this was not there. But now you can associate a auto attendance that will handle the call and redirect the call to your call queues or any specific uh, number where you want it to uh, redirect or route your calls. Even you can uh, design your DTMF kind of format like press 1 to do this, press 2 to do this, do this the kind of things that can be uh, also possible to configure here. The auto attendant configuration can be designed from there. 
we have an call park functionality as well uh, which we have an on-premises of uh, sky for business in the call park we can define uh, we can hold a call for the in a parking queue and another person or users can pick up that particular call call from the specific uh, number or uh, you can say a, a queue so call call uh, can be parked and can be hold for a certain duration that uh, just give me i will just move on to okay so for call park we have to configure the call parking policies that is coming from here default organization wide policies are there you can change it and you can define your own call park policies default one is off right now you can set up start range is 10 and end range is 99 so any number can be placed from here to there between 10 to 99 and the x suppose x person is placed call on the parking then y person can uh, pick up call from the uh, given id that is uh, given to user for parking call maximum timeout duration is 300 second for the duration for which uh, call can be park or can be hold right now it's off if i want i can on it as well and calling policies are available if you want to use the existing policies you can use it or you want to change it to the custom ones that can also possible to configure to do this uh, you can create uh, just click on the calling policies where you can see the default talk policy and disallow two policies are there if you want to change create a new policy you can just click on over here make private calls like uh, whatever things you want to allow or you want to restrict as per your convenience you can set up calling functionalities inbound routing user control voicemail or not enabled so the kind of things web pstn you are trying to allow or not things can be configured once you configure the policy you can go to the users select the user account go to the policies and from here you can define the calling policy just click on edit to it will gives you the option you can see the call park as well over here call id calling policy so i can just have created this one i can apply the policy from here you want uh, to apply it for the bulk users you can use the powershell commandlets to apply it uh, the same policy in structures same as for the caller id policies you can define it from the same section this is the caller id policies the default one is organization and spa you can also configure the block the incoming callers you can own it override the caller by policy or replace the user number with anonymous like user number should not be displayed or service number or anything right now any service number is not associated so you can't see that you can define this policy so the caller id would not be displayed over there but this is only limited to your integrated environment it will not go beyond the outside suppose if you are calling and pstn call making a pstn call through pbx and that is associated with the uh, any pri line or something so the end user the receiver where you have made the calls will get the your endpoint number that is not restrict your id it will show from where it's the call has been initiated you can see the direct routing and direct routing health dashboards as well if you have integrated the direct routing from this section where you can add or associate your sbcs and you can check it out the health from the reporting sections and you can see the various reports are there the usage reports as well as uh, your environment call quality dashboard that i'm just coming to let me just quickly wrap up this and show you so from there you can see the direct routing and the direct grouping reports once you have an sbc's we can also add the licensing from our uh, usage licensing of audio toll free numbers phones how it is utilizing so these are the additional license that you can also take independently apart from your 
365 like e1 e2 e5 those are the plants that are having uh, most of the uh, things like e5 have all of the things included but uh, in e3 you have to take the phone system licensing for e1 as well you need to take a phone system licensing uh, if you want to use that same as for the calling plan you want to take you can take a direct uh, domestic call plan or international call plan from the service vendors that are available okay just come to the troubleshooting point of view so we have to face the most common things related to the troubleshooting the first one is obviously the connectivity issues where you have to identify the URLs and the ports are allowed uh, over a firewall like the connectivity should not be breaks anywhere we can use the uh, various tools like uh, net uh, wireshock or netmon as a network monitors uh, to trace the traffic if it is getting successful or not uh, then for android and ios mobile phones you can clear the cache for the client or even you can go for reinstallation of apps as well you can capture the troubleshooting logs for microsoft teams and uh, mobile uh, logs are also available client level logging if i talk about you can take the debug and the diagnostic logs for the microsoft teams as well so that you have to identify and check it out from local client configuration same as same way you can configure the clear cache etc and uh, cell phones and uh, when we have a coexisting environment uh, then could be the troubleshooting would be a little bit uh, complicated suppose you have a skype for business uh, users and team users both so you have to take the independent logs for skype for business as well as for the teams but mostly the logs uh, always show whatever the things are there and like the client logs they always shows what exactly the issue with microsoft uh, team client for network test you can use uh, netmon or wireshock we can also analyze uh, the call analytics and the call queue call quality all those things and we have a integration of this in the power bi as well uh, so call quality dashboard can be seen uh, that will show the entire report of your organization you can also integrate your on-premises data in the call quality dashboard as well as we can connect this security to bi connector that is power bi so with the help of that we can see uh, in power bi uh, as a graphical representation of analytics and data analytics to do that you have to just go to uh, your call quality dashboard section over here in the teams you can see there is a call quality dashboard option is available you can click on this i logged out okay just need to ask it for a sign in okay so right now data is not available because i have not made the calls everything but if it is there then that would be uh, displayed over here right now in my organization the like this one it's as in test environment which i designed so it does not have a data all here you can see the microsoft teams as well and sky for business you can upload the specific data if you want to do that is manual things uh, if you have an on-premises or anything right now data is not available but if you have if you are running an organization where the all these things are exist if you want to for the testing purpose you can do one thing you can keep the couple of data testers uh, like do the some calls chats meets and all and then after that you can just click on security to analyze the uh, data whatever the you have done so that's all about this guys i will try to create more uh, video regarding sbc integration and publishing of sbcs so i need to check it out how we can do it for the test purpose uh, if you don't have a appropriate license and then i will upload the same video in the next series if you have not watched the entire series you can just go ahead and take a link uh, from the description box and you can view up all the entire series videos as well as my previous video is the
same so till that time thank you so much and keep watching this channel if you have not subscribed it please do subscribe the same thank you